Hi everyone, this is Shalli Kumar again from OSCE Nurse Training Cambridge. I'm an experienced OSCE Nurse Trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK. I'm also a NMC registered nurse with lots of clinical experience and also um, uh, experience in uh, um, educating undergraduate nurses and the overseas nurses supporting them uh, so i'm back with another nmc oski video for you so if you like my videos please press the like and subscribe button share it with your other friends who may be preparing for oski my aim is to help as many nurses as possible through these videos who are preparing for the nmc oski exam uh, we do provide uh, full NMC OSCE training, uh, so if you're interested, you can uh, email us. I will let you know the email address at the end of the video. So today's video, really important one. So this is kind of update on my last video for ANTT, but just a little bit more focus on the main thing people are failing at the moment for aseptic non-touch technique. So I thought I will just do a quick video on that to make sure that you are not making this most common uh, fail mistake uh, because lots of fails are happening due to this mistake in exam. Um, so we're going to look at it. We're just going to generally little bit talk about what the aseptic non-touch technique station is. It's a clinical skill in your exam. So we're going to look at that just to give you uh, information what it is uh, how can you come in your exam what do you have to do and then we're going to look at this most common fail and then how we can correct our technique and I will also show you a little video demonstration uh, of uh, the certain part of the ANTT procedure okay where people are failing so that's what we're going to look at today so let's see what aseptic non-touch technique station is in your exam so this is like I said if uh, I just bring you on the screen now so it is a um, clinical skill and one of your clinical skills you have to prepare out of the 20 so it is a always a it is aseptic so it's aseptic non-touch technique but it always comes together with wound assessment so it's always paired together so the station itself is 15 minutes but it always come together in exam i have never seen seen it coming by itself so it will always come with another skill which is called wound assessment okay so you always come paired with wound assessment it will count as two skills but they always come together as one they have combined time of time of 21 minutes which is 15 minutes for your aseptic non-touch technique and six minutes for your wound assessment but they always come together okay um, so what you do is you just go from one station to another so you don't necessarily stop in between because it's a combined two stations okay unless your examiner likes you to stop in between please just carry on from wound assessment into the uh, into then going into your um, ANTT technique so how does it happen so they tell you id check alert check is already complete so we call a pretext the pretexts are already complete on your patient you need to do a wound assessment on a picture so they give you a picture of a wound whether it's surgical wound or other chronic open wound so they can give you any kind of wound so that would be to do your wound assessment and then the examiner will show you a wound on the mannequin which you need to then clean and uh, apply a fresh dressing using aseptic non-touch technique so they will give you briefing for both stations in the beginning okay so they're not gonna like i said they're not going to stop you in between so they give you briefing for both stations they're telling you assume it's the same patient so you do wound assessment on a picture and then you go ahead and clean the wound actually on the mannequin and then apply a dressing dry dressing using a septic non-touch technique um, there is no documentation in this station you don't have to record anything about the wound assessment or about the dressing change nothing there is no documentation and i already told you your patient id check alert check is done they will give you a little scenario what kind of wound your patient has and the name of the patient so you will call the patient by that name the mannequin so that's what it is but there is no other documentation you need to do in this station okay so that's just a general idea uh, how does ANTT come in your exam? It always come with wound assessment. Wound assessment first, then carry into ANTT. Uh, I always say take the consent for both stations in the beginning. And when you come to the end of the wound assessment, just remind your patient again, is it still okay to clean your wound and apply a fresh dressing? So just a 
quick consent again but you can take the consent for both stations quite formally in the beginning and then at the end of the wound assessment just remind the patient again that you are going to clean their wound again and apply dressing uh, so that brings us to so that's the station and you know and there is a set marking criteria by nmc which has been updated at the last release when they released it back the new uh, the new updated version in january so it's not much changed from the previous but it is available for you to then follow that marking criteria uh, so now that brings us to the most common fail at the moment our observation is that most people follow the marking criteria and they can do the steps and they know most people before was failing on like hand hygiene when to do it but now the marking criteria uh, if you follow it you know you will know that you need to do these hand hygiene and all that stuff and nurses are careful not to contaminate their sterile field um, because if you carry out the step which are in the marking criteria you will be okay so what's happening at present the most common fails are really fail is actually applying your sterile gloves that's where most nurses are failing this station so the so that's the most common fail wrong, wrong technique for donning gloves it's not like they're not putting the gloves on but they doing the wrong technique which that means is that they end up contaminating the gloves but they may not realize they have done it but they are doing it okay so if you do not uh, put your gloves in certain order when you applying your sterile gloves and don't use aseptic non-touch technique when applying gloves you will contaminate the outside of the glove and that way you're contaminating your you know from that onwards you know that would carry on and that would be a critical fail because if you go ahead and use the same drugs to do the dressing of course then you contaminated the wound as well so uh, so that would be a critical fail so i think it's just learning that so what we're gonna do uh, on the next screen like i said is learning the principles of it what can go wrong and why you should apply the sterile gloves in a certain way if you don't what's the logic behind it how can you contaminate them so we're going to look at those principles and we also going to look at a uh, correct technique so what is the correct technique for applying these gloves so you don't end up making that massive mistake which is happening at the moment uh, so which can happen in your exam is very common so i'm gonna show you a little video of the demonstration how to apply how to don uh, put on non-sterile uh, sorry sterile gloves using aseptic non-touch technique so these are the sterile gloves okay these are the gloves which we are going to do dressing with uh, so we are going to uh, have to put them on aseptically so that's what we are going to look at it uh, so you may do it twice in these uh, in this station because you may apply one pair of gloves sterile gloves to uh, set up your sterile field and later on you will apply the gloves which are inside the dressing pack to actually do the dressing but both times you need to apply the same technique for donning gloves so if you just watch this video now so i'm going to play that and then we will come back and just quickly talk about it okay so let's get it done then so uh, we are we, as you can see i'm starting from the point where my sterile field is set i've cleaned my hands with my gel i've already had my apron on when i setting up the sterile field i have to put the apron on then set up the sterile field so i've done that now i've cleaned my hands with gel and i'm ready to put these gloves on so what is the correct way so we do not contaminate our gloves so you can see these gloves are in the pack and they both have uh, sleeves as you can see they're four it so they're in there so the technique here is if you're going to put that in on your right hand side if your dominant hand is the right hand side put that one on first because it's much easier so obviously my my dominant hand is right so i'm going to put it on that but i cannot pick with the right because it won't go on the right hand then so that's not going to work so if we're going to put it on our dominant hand pick it up with the other hand so my dominant hand is right so i'm going to pick up with the left so I'm going to pick the, this glove with my left hand side, the right glove, but the inside sleeve. Why inside sleeve? Because inside sleeve is going to touch inside of my, my arm anyway. So it's going to be uh, coming in touch with skin. skin. 
so that's okay but what we can't do is we cannot touch anywhere outside okay so i'm going to hold on to this inside sleeve i'm going to pick my glove up i'm just gonna step back a little bit because sometime if you touch the edge of the trolley then it will be contaminated so i'm going to look for my i will just look at it carefully where the thumb is is on the right hand side so i'm going to put my hand in and i'm going to get that in slowly like i said inside is fine because we're touching it inside it doesn't really matter so i'm still touching it inside and i'm just uh, putting that on okay so that's fine so i've not touched anywhere outside of the glove now we not need to put the left hand now okay so but we can't use the same technique as the other one we cannot touch from the right hand side inside so i'll show you in a second what's the logic here so if i touch now uh, uh, inside the sleeve at the moment i'm fine it's a sterile hand to sterile glove it's okay but the minute i try to put it on my right hand which is my sterile hand already is going to touch bare skin on my left then i will contaminate my right glove so i can't do that so i need to protect my right glove while putting on the left so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hook the fingers of this sterile glove in this sleeve okay so they're protected so they will not touch the bare skin on my left wrist or hand so now i carefully look for the thumb again and i try to get that in sometime you can struggle with the fingers a little bit you might have to just adjust a little bit so try to keep pulling on pulling on pulling on pulling on pulling on so as you can see my right hand is still well protected it did not touch the skin on the left wrist or left hand so now if there is a needle adjustment needed you can do it because it's sterile to sterile so i can adjust if something need adjusting a bit if my two fingers went on one now will be the time i will just adjust it and put the fingers in the right place okay so sometimes that can happen so that's it so that's what you need to do uh, and now they are on and i did not contaminate them and that's the way you need to put them on in the exam okay so i hope you have liked the video and you have seen it that how to put on the asap uh, sorry sterile gloves using aseptic non-touch technique and what are the principles behind it so i was telling you why it's important that you pick it on this way and why is it important you don't touch outside why is it important that you keep them like that so you know that was the principles behind it and shown you the technique so watch a few times and then practice the technique and then you will um, get mastered that day so you know you will master the technique and that will not be the problem in your exam which is the most common problem for failing a and tt so i hope you like the video so if you do like the video please press like and subscribe share it with your friends uh, uh, visit us on oskinastraining.com check out our reviews on google and also if you want to email us email us on oskinastraining at outlook.com i will soon be back with another video for you so bye for now